Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Karan. I'm one of the medical students at the University of Auckland. And today, I'd like to introduce to you a idea that many people consider impossible. It's the concept of bioprinting functional human organs. And hopefully through this talk, I'll be able to convince you just how possible and real this idea actually is and the benefits that New Zealanders can enjoy. So let's get into it. Here's the content. Let's start off with bioprinting. What is bioprinting? Well, it's very similar to 3D printing. The only difference is that instead of using plastic, we're going to be using live functional human cells as our material. So we can get these cells from uh, individual patients. We take a small amount, usually from the blood, and this, these cells can be grown on a medium. Once we have the right amount of cells, we can use these cells as a bio-ink, and they can be stored in cartridges in bioprinters. Then we can go on to use CT scanners to get the CT scans of the internal structures of our patients. We can transfer those scans onto engineering softwares to create a model that we want to print. So the bioprinter uses this blueprint, this model, and it uses the material, the human cells, and it, it prints this accurate human-like structure. So that's what we want. So that's bioprinting and how it works. But the question is, can we print human organs that will be functional inside the human body? I'm happy to say that the answer is a big yes. In fact, a, a group of researchers in America, they actually printed human bladders and they transplanted those bladders into human patients. So in their study, they had seven patients with end-stage bladder disease. They took the cells from these patients, they grew them, they cultivated them, they differentiated the uh, different types of cells, and they used those cells to create human bladders for these patients. After this was created, they printed, sorry, they printed those bladders, and those bladders were then transplanted into the individual patients, and then they were followed up for about six years. What they found through the study was that these patients had significantly improved bladder function. And patients also reported significant improvements in their symptom, in their condition, and in their quality of life. So this is promising. This, this study was published in The Lancet, which is considered a highly reputable uh, scientific journal. Other studies are now focused on printing human kidneys, human livers, and even the human heart. So bioprinting organs will have a huge impact for New Zealand. The first is the economic benefits. Bioprinting will have an economic benefit by reducing the need of uh, kidney dialysis. So you're thinking, how would that have an economic benefit? Well, let me explain. In New Zealand, when patients have kidney failure, they need a kidney transplant. But because there's not enough kidneys going around, they're put on a waiting list. And while they're on the waiting list, they need treatment. And that treatment is kidney dialysis. But the cost of kidney dialysis to New Zealand each year is $150 million each year. By having bioprinted organs, patients won't be on waiting lists anymore. Therefore, they won't need kidney dialysis, and therefore New Zealand will be able to save in the excess of $100 million each year. So the social benefits, the health benefits. By having readily available bioprinted organs, our patients will be able to have the transplant surgery exactly when they need it. They won't be waiting months, and they won't be waiting years anymore. They will be able to have the surgery exactly at the moment that they need it. And so this means that our patients, New Zealand patients, will be able to have significant improvements in their symptom, in their condition, and their quality of life. So that means they can go into their everyday normal, day-to-day -day activities without the uh, burden of their condition or their disease. It's also likely that this technology is going to um, decrease or eliminate the use of anti-rejection drugs in New Zealand. The way it does this is because the organs that we will print will be made out of the patient's own cells 
and the own, patient's own biology, and so there's no rejection. And therefore, patients will not have to suffer the side effects that come with these uh, anti-rejection drugs, and also saving New Zealand millions of dollars of money from buying these drugs. And the last benefit is the environmental benefits. Many people don't know this, but kidney dialysis on its own contributes and consumes over 90 million litres of water each year. It also produces mil tens of millions of kilograms of carbon-related wa waste. So through bioprinting organs, we will be reducing the need for kidney dialysis and therefore reducing the consumption of water by millions of liters of water. We'll be reducing um, the, uh, the carbon waste that we produce by tens of millions of kilograms each year, therefore reducing our carbon footprint and reducing the burden on our beautiful environment. The only only downside to this uh, technology is that uh, the money needed to buy the technology, which is a good news because it only ranges in the tens of thousands. So when you think about the tens of thousands that we spend compared to the hundreds of millions of dollars that we will save, I think that's a good investment. So in conclusion, um, this technology is going to have a huge impact for New Zealand as a whole. But the best part about it is that it's going to have a huge impact on ordinary individual Kiwis and enable them to live healthier lives in the future. Thank you.